This video is going to demonstrate how you can create a contact list in Outlook 2013. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you're on the contact information in Outlook by clicking the little people icon in the bottom left hand corner. And then you'll notice you can create a new contact that would be a single contact that you wanted to add to your address book or a new contact group. So I'm going to click new contact group and give my group a name. You can name it whatever you want. This is for you. If you think you're going to share this group out with others, make sure you include your name so that they'll know that it's from you. The next thing I need to do is start adding members. So I click the add members and I have three choices. If I select from Outlook contacts, that's actually going to look into our global address book and I'm going to be able to add anyone in our district to this list. If I select from address book, that means if I've already put them in as a contact, or I've received an email from them and it has saved their contact, I could look in my personal address book and grab their names. The third option is new email contact. And so I'm going to go ahead and select this and I'm just going to, I'm gonna call this one Mom Smith. We're gonna call it mom at smith.com. I'm totally making that up. You don't need to make any changes right here. This option that says add to contacts means when I add this contact into this contact group, it's actually going to put them in as a separate contact as well. So I could email them individually rather than just using the group. So I suggest you go ahead and leave that checked. So I'm going to tell it okay, let's add one more member. And this one's going to be Dad Smith, dad at smith.com. Again, I'm going to leave all the settings the same and click OK. So I would repeat that process until I got all of the parents in here. Then the last step would be to save and close this group. So I've saved and closed this group. And then if I want to look it up, I can search by any part of that name. So you can see I found my parent list. Now if I need to go back and edit it, I can either double click here or I can click the word edit, but I, I tend to double click. I can now add more members, I can remove members, anything. If I would like to send an email from this screen, I can just simply click email and it's going to put that contact list in the to field. One thing I do wanna warn you about, if I send this email like this, I, I put in information and send this email, the parents will actually be able to expand this out and see all of the people on that list. So you might not want to do that. So what I suggest you do when you're going to send to a group is click the word to, that opens up this screen. You're going to need to switch to your contacts folder and then you're going to search. I found my parent list. You notice that it went into the to field. I'm gonna click and drag it down to the BCC then I will just put my own address in here, tell it okay. And what this does is it looks to the parents like it sent to me and it sent to them, but they do not see this other information. So I would put a subject, I would put the, the information I wanted to share via email and send. So that's how you create and send to a contact list.